Nearly 600 candidates from six political parties are campaigning for the seventh legislative election scheduled for April 18th in Cape Verde, among whom almost 400,000 voters from the archipelago and the diaspora will have to choose, including the Prime Minister Ulises Correa e Silva, who recently met with his supporters at a market and said he is confident he will win with an absolute majority, arguing that government stability is important for the country and also good for its oil and diamonds. Janira Hopfer Almada, opposition candidate of the African Party for the Independence of Cape Verde, took to the streets to invite her supporters to go to the polls. Several other candidates have also begun their political tours in the last few weeks on almost all the islands. According to the calendar fixed by the National Electoral Commission, the campaign period will go to midnight on April 16th. Since the campaign's official start, some parties in the race have tried in vain to have rallies banned in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, but it appears political passion trumps virus protection. The legislative vote Sunday will see 72 deputies elected for a five-year term, and the popular Labour and Solidarity and Social Democratic parties are running some constituencies for the first time with the aim of balancing the parliamentary chamber.